Where are we at, April? Ah! I don't know. <laughs> Where are you at, Wayne? Tripping. Oh, wow. Wow. Cadillac Mountain at the summit. for joining us on another journey. Today, we're in Maine, and we're visiting Acadia National Park. If you're new to the channel, this is April, and Hello. I'm Wayne. We do a video every Thursday, so hit that subscribe button and smash that bell. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. Oh, it's cold. You are standing on granitic rock formed millions of years ago when a very hot liquid cooled deep below the Earth's surface. This magma chamber, 2.3 miles below the surface, eventually erosion and glaciers scoured and removed the softer overlying rock, revealing the harder, more resistant granite, which is Acadia's mountains. Kind of crazy to think, huh? Yeah, it's eroded that much. If you're wanting to go to Cadillac Mountain, I suggest weeks and weeks and weeks in advance schedule your driving permit to be able to go up Cadillac Mountain especially if you want to see sunrise it's very hard to get one of those yeah I would say as as early as possible in advance you're gonna to need to go to recreation.gov, get a vehicle reservation. 30% of vehicle reservations are made available 90 days ahead of each date. The remaining 70% are released at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, two days ahead. Either print or save a digital copy of your reservation with the confirmation code, which will be scanned. Connectivity, though, is unreliable in the park. Yeah, internet doesn't work at all. <laughs> We're phone phone service. You must also have a park entrance pass to enter Acadia in addition to having that vehicle reservation. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. If you see the town down there, that is Bar Harbor, and we're looking on it from the top of Cadillac Summit. Where are we at, April? Sand Beach. In Acadia National Park, Maine. Well, obviously the tide's going out. It's the beach, April. Yay. I love the beach. Not your tropical beach today. It's about 39 degrees out, fall. Wanna go out on the rocks for a little bit? Um, no. I really wanna sit still. You wanna go do the, uh, the, the real hike that we're here for? Is that the real hike that you're here for? Yeah. That's why we came. Oh. What is it? The beehive? The beehive. I thought it was the precipice. No, I can't do the precipice. You blamed it on me. I can do it by myself. Then what? why'd you say I couldn't do it with her? I don't think you can do that one. Do you? I'm not saying I want to. <laughs> you, you said I can't do it. No, I can. I can do no, it, but... No, you said I can't. Let's go do it then. You said I can't, so why can't you? Because I have you with me. No, you can't do it either. That's why it was no. a Freudian slip. Bullshit. Yeah. I can do it. We made it to the Bass Harbor Lighthouse. This one's uh, actually inside the Acadia National Park. Bass Harbor Head Light Station was constructed in 1858. The site was considered significant from 1858 to 1948 for its mid-19th century design and construction and for its association with Maine's critical reliance on maritime transportation and aids that made that transportation possible. It was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1988. Pro tip, if you want to watch the sunset from Bass Harbor Lighthouse in Acadia National Park, you need to arrive at least a couple of hours in advance 
advance. The parking lot is very small and there are a whole lot of people that are trying to get a glimpse of the lighthouse. When you're at the parking area, you will note a walking path to the left. That leads to a stairway that takes you down to the face of the cliff to an Oceanside observation area. The path to the right of the building leads to a vantage point that provides panoramic view of the ocean. And if you do brave going out onto the rocks. So I think what we'll do is we'll go this way, try to go out that way. You should be able to see it, I think. I don't know how far out we gotta go. Be very careful. We saw someone slip and fall when we were there. Yeah, it's pretty uh, intense. You gotta be smart and know your, your limits. Or do like me and crawl. <laughs> <laughs> when you come out to Bass Harbor Lighthouse, to get the good view, you've gotta do some serious rock scrambling. Tonight, we got ourselves a bed and breakfast. Really old, old house. I'm guessing probably in the late 1800s. It's old, really old, but yeah, it's we're here about an hour outside of Acadia National Park, just on the ocean. It's well, nighttime now, but supposedly know. we can see the ocean. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's a view. <laughs> I don't know what all that entails. Anyway, we'll put a link below. How old is the bed and breakfast? Well, the business has been run as a sort of an inn since about 1886. Uh, started out with some platforms on the shore and some tents, the old white tents that you might see in a cavalry picture in the Old West. And then the people subdivided, people bought property. In 75, when I got here, the business had sort of petered out and so forth. And I opened up to the public. This has been in your family for how long? The land is since the 1760s. Okay, how old's the house? Uh, the interior part of the house goes back to around 1800. Definitely old and crickety, but it's got character. <laughs> and these blueberry pancakes, we had these yesterday for breakfast. If you come here, you gotta do the blueberry pancakes. <laughs> April didn't even put syrup on oh hers yesterday. <laughs> Wayne's all, <laughs> what? <laughs> he doesn't know what to think. <laughs> April not using syrup. <laughs> What do I make of it? Absolutely. And, and and this view, you just don't even know. It's amazing. Tide has changed so much. Yeah, that's crazy. Right? I was just gonna ask you if are the tides are different all up and down the coast. Well, tides a tide. It's different here. The timings are different here than it is in... Oh yeah, the timings change all over the place and the different, the swings of the tide depending on how far north you are versus how far south you are will be different as well. We wanna thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end if you would hit that subscribe button share it with a friend and like always thank you for living life